And here's the rest of the bridge. I accidentally hit the volume, which turns off the video. And toward the end, there's some of our favorite statues. Here's a column that the, the bumps on this column, Don said he thinks they're clouds. To me, it lo looks like they might be representative of bubonic plague. It's the one thing in the bridges, the statues on the bridge, it's not particularly attractive. Here's a saint telling someone off. There's a heart at the very top. You can see we're getting close to the close to the end of the bridge. The tower at the end of the bridge has a very dramatic top, as does the St. Tyne or Teen Church. Kind of looks like it's out of Harry Potter or a Disney movie. And this one I call St. Moi, or the patron saint of pearl clutching. Another saint, also popular with the birds. And yet another runner. I believe this was in St. Ludmilla in the cathedral. There's lots and lots of stuff about St. Ludmilla. A bunch of lions. And there's a hole with a lion peeking out. No, it's the St. Vitus. It's the St. Vitus Cathedral is the cathedral. And Don thought it'd be fun for to put Siroy there and have his head peek out. He thought that would be very popular. As in St. Vitus dance. And here's the one with the most number of figures. What appears to be a Turkish guy. Souls presumably in purgatory or hell. A dog barking at them. Various other figures. This has the most, this is one of my favorites. Has a lot going on. There's some deer or stags. This is the very last statue. And the ending is the gate with the great roofs. And this is one of the many places that sells Tordelniks. It's a Hungarian treat where you have a sort of a cone, thick cone, roasted over a fire, and you put ice cream in it. And you see them absolutely everywhere, although they're not actually, they're not actually Czech, apparently they're Hungarian. But there, you see many, 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 many of them. This is a gate to the old part of the city. A bunch of touristy shops, and a bunch of places selling some form of cannabis. That was kind of a surprise. It's a very over the top Baroque cathedral. Even kind of a little on the Baro too baroque side for, for me. And that is the Charles River Bridge in the morning so Don can see what it's like because he hasn't seen it yet. Um, highly recommend it even though it's very touristy, even though it's very touristy. It still has considerable charm. The river is absolutely lovely. You have great views from the river. You have the, the monument, the statues on the river, which are very dramatic. You can see the castle from the river. 
This is a great view of the shoreline from the river. You can see a lot of the most prominent buildings. As you can see, it's pretty early. The sun is rising from the east. Here's another view of the one with a whole bunch of figures on it. They don't look very happy. Off in the distance, you, to the left, is, you can see the two spires of the Tyne TYN Church. One of my favorite. It has the very Disney Harry Potter spires on top. Over to the left, you can see the one with the dome and the gold roof. That's the National Theater, which is the Opera House. I saw a Czech opera concert staging a couple days ago. Um, Jana checks the Macropolis case. First live Czech opera I've seen. There's an island in the middle of the river down there. I think they're doing some dredging here. Over where the two lights are here, next to that, there's a um, museum for a Czech composer. Uh, I believe it's Smetna, the one who wrote a piece, Vltava, the Moldau, which is actually about this river itself, so it's appropriate that his museum is right next to the river that he was wrote a composition about. This is going in the other direction. A very dramatic view of the city. You can see another bridge over to the right. You can see another br two bridges over to the left. Morning sky. Somebody else photographing. Gradually starting to get more people. And later there's gonna be a ton of people here. Although it's still quite charming, despite all the tourists. Of course, we don't count as tourists. We're not the ones running the city.
They call this the city of 100 spires. You can see why. Apparently there's actually a lot more than that. the National Theater, also known as the Narodni Divadlo. Narodni means national, Divadlo means theater. Learned a handful of words in Czech, which is a very difficult language. Here's a 360 view. You see the castle and the cathedral that took 585 years to build. Other bridges. More people than there were just 20 minutes ago. Lots of pigeons around here. I think they're very well fed. And a sketch artist is already setting up over here. This is the second time I've come here in the morning and doing wedding pictures. It's kind of charming. This way Don can see it without having to get up early. Here's an absolutely lovely Baroque church with a hands-off Ukraine Putin sign where I saw an absolutely terrible the hit, best hits of classical music. It wasn't all terrible. They played one Czech piece, which is pretty good, and the Toccata and Fugue on the organ was pretty good, but the rest of it was really bland, as I expected, but I wanted to see it. And it's absolutely lovely on the inside. This is the one I sent the video of of the rehearsal. The rehearsal was fantastic. Here's another lovely Baroque church just off the square. And this is the Charles that the Charles Bridge is named after. another runner and now it becomes extremely touristy but still it's a very charming city and I think the Charles River and the the, the Voltavo River and the Charles Bridge is the best part.